I have some updates for you tonight. Um, starting with the situation with the uh, camera tubes. I have obtained another 5527 iconoscope tube and uh, another image dissector tube. Here we see the RCA 5527 iconoscope tubes that I have used or I'm going to use in my uh, experimental camera. Uh, tube number three in the background just arrived today and I have yet to test it. But this is what the 5527's look like. The electrical tape is where my uh, mounting blocks hold the tube. As you can see there's a connector here on the top where you can where you pick off the signal from the mosaic. This is the part of the tube where you focus the image and uh, it is then uh, scanned by the electron beam behind the behind that window. These tubes were designed in 1947 and sold to experimenters and even some low power television stations in the late 1940s. In 1948 I believe is when they came out. And uh, well hopefully given enough time I can make the camera work with these tubes. This is the image dissector tube as it arrived today. Little pigtail leads. And it is of Russian manufacture. Including some documentation which is kind of newsprint delicate. It gives me the pinout and the voltages. There's a uh, quality control report inside. I create these myself where I work. And uh, the tube was made around 1999, I think. 91 or 99 I saw on the date on the box. So that's a fascinating tube. And then there's the uh, ITT vitisector tube which unfortunately I've mounted into this deflection coil at this time and uh, it uh, was constructed in the shape and form of a of a Viticon tube so that they could use the the standard coils um, in this tube you have the photo target at this end which sh you shine light on it it's in ex at extreme high voltage negative uh, an image is produced that drifts back in the tube to the back where there's a wall with a little tiny pinhole. Behind the pinhole is a series of metal plates. Each one is 100 volts more positive than the one before it. And so that when an electron strikes, it will knock off more electrons, which are immediately drawn to the next plate, where the process repeats up to 10 times in this, in this structure. Uh, it, it is called the image dissector because the image is formed as a, as a cloud of electrons and then the deflection moves that entire electron image back and forth over the pinhole called the aperture. The size of the aperture determines the resolution and sensitivity in this tube is determined by how fast or slow you scan it. It's uh, the only camera tube that is able to actually stop scanning and park on a given pixel and just measure that pixel continuously. Uh, and it can run at any speed from there on up to the limits of your deflection system. So those are my camera tubes for the evening. So uh, lab guy out.